Hi there everyone. In this bite-sized bit, we're going to demonstrate how we can use a Windows utility to zip, unzip, move, and submit our Microsoft Visual Studio projects. Let's go ahead and get started. In this example, we won't be using Visual Studio. Instead, we're going to be using a utility that has been integrated into modern versions of the Microsoft Windows operating system. And this utility allows us to take files or folders and compress them into a single smaller file. That smaller file is very useful for moving from place to place. And it is going to be a required technique for submitting homeworks, projects, or exams on eCampus. But it's also a useful technique for moving files from computer to computer, sharing your files with a teammate, or demonstrating your files to a friend or a family member. For today's demonstration, I'm going to use a Visual Studio project that we created earlier, in this particular case, my Boon Ted example 2. I found the outside container folder for that project, and that's where I want to be. I don't want to be able to see the solution file or the working folder. I want to be on the outside container folder. I'm going to right click on that outside container folder, and in the contextual menu, I'm going to look for the choice that says send to. Your specific choices might be different than mine, but you will have a send to. On that second menu, you're looking for compressed zipped folder. And again, some of your other choices might be different than mine, but you will have this option. I'm going to go ahead and click on compressed zipped folder. What should happen on your computer is a new yellow folder that looks slightly different than the original and a blinking cursor next to the name. You can name your zip files anything you want, but if you've named your project correctly in the first place, the name of the zip file is probably correct. In this case, I want to submit a zip file on eCampus, and I want to use this naming convention of last name, first name, and then something descriptive. So the name of the zip file is great. I'm going to go ahead and click Enter on my keyboard to accept that name. If you need to rename your zip file, please feel free to do so. You'll note the icon for the zip file is slightly different than a regular folder. It actually has a zipper on it to indicate that this is not a folder. This is a compressed file. It contains many other files inside of it, but not like a normal file. And in fact, I'm going to demonstrate that right now. It's tempting looking at a zip file to open it up like a folder and then inside that folder try to run our project. And if you do so, Visual Studio will attempt to run your project but what you will see is an error that occurs. One or more projects in the solution were not loaded correctly. Please see the output window for details. And then when you click OK, you'll see that things were not loaded. We've seen a similar error before when we improperly renamed our working folder. This is not a reason to panic. This is an indication that we've tried to open something inside a zip file, and we are not allowed to do so. If you do actually want to open something that's inside a zip file, what you first have to do is you have to extract the contents of that zip file. And the way you do so is you right click and then choose extract all. Now in this particular case, I can't necessarily extract to the same location that it's offering because that's where these files just came from. But I could extract them to something else. I could extract them to a different location. So I could definitely modify this path. And then once I extracted all of my files, I'd be able to open them normally without any issues whatsoever. Do keep in mind, when you create a zip file, you're creating a snapshot of the project. And if you make any changes to the original project, going back into the original folder, those changes will not be reflected inside your zip file. You'll need to delete the zip file and then right click send to and send to compress zip folder a second time to update any changes that you might have made. Let's talk about another situation that might come up, which is submitting multiple projects inside a single zip file. In this particular example, I have two projects that I want to submit for my homework one submission. Rather than right clicking on one of these outside container folders, I'm going to click on the first one and then highlight the second one at the same time. And the way I'm doing this is holding down the shift key on my keyboard 
and then clicking the second folder. You can see that now both folders are highlighted. Once they're both highlighted, I'm going to right click, send to, and choose compress zip folder. Now in this case, it's not going to necessarily get the naming correct. So for me, I'm going to change it to Boon Ted HW1. Why am I calling it that? Because I looked at the instructions for homework one, and I see that it's supposed to be named last name, first name, hw1.zip. I don't see the .zip on my computer because it's part of the background information for this file, but I have named this file properly. That's it for today's lesson. Thanks very much. See you next time.